Hi guys and welcome to this channel. Today we are going to look at four things to know before starting a closure project. First, how to initialize a closure dart project. Create a directory. In my case, I will name it form. You should always create your files and subdirectories into src. Last but not least, create a depths.edn file. This file will contain rules about your project dependencies. You can find all, the f all of the things that I said in the Flutter quick start. Here, I'm going to copy paste this, but make sure you always have the right version of the hash of the last commit. This is the path towards our CLGD files and this is the closure version. This is what your project tree should look like. I'm typing the command to build and initialize our course platform app. This corresponds to the subdirectory and after the dot, this is the file that contains our main function. Okay, all right, and now let's code. Next, deal with context. The founders of Quilgedart externalize the context, so most of the time you don't have to use it, but there are some times where you can't escape it. I'm going to show you an example from the Flutter cookbook that contains context. We also have a controller to make things more interesting. Now, the ultimate development tests All right, let's copy that. I'm going to create a dart file so we can directly see what, what we are translating. Let's remove all of the comments. Okay, this text will serve as a documentation for this library, the tutorial.form library. And we are going to import some requirements. Luckily, Flutter's package material exports all we need at once. And I'm going to import Flutter Alpha, which contains some really cool stuff that we will talk about later in the video. So, the context is, is mentioned here. It's needed for the builder and show dialog context. It's the same context that the parent widget. For now, it's better to define functions before calling them, although here I'm using def and not defn since I don't have any parameters. We initialize our controller within um, the with keyword text editing controller. Okay. 
Okay, so after the up bar, we have the padding into the body. Oh, to access an element of a library, we should use a point, then a stash. And the text field takes my controller as a parameter. Okay. Here comes the long awaited moment. giving the parent widget context to the show dialog function. All we have to do is to create a context within the context keyword and call it whatever we want. We don't really use context parameters, so I'll just go with an underscore. The content of the other dialogue is the text we just typed, which for the text editing controller is stored in dot text, in the dot text variable. Let's build all of this. The command line is the same as earlier, just replace init by Flutter. Oh no, we just ran into a runtime error. Can't return a value from a void function. Show dialog. Okay, I just have to add nil at the end of the unpress function in order to not return anything. There we go. Yes. Next, can we add a const specification in order to lighten the compiler? The answer is yes. Let's see how. Let's took our previous example that contains several const. There you go. After the keyword, you just add um, the circumstance accent, like the bird flying, and the const keyword. That's it. That's literally it. Next, in dot, or more precisely in Flutter, when you want a widget to get the context of its parent, you will often use the function of with the context, uh, which is the context parent. However, closure dot is not a object and oriented programming language. We don't have class and class methods. So how to do that in closure dot? In this example, we have a scaffold messenger object that needs the parent widget context to build itself.
let's just hide this sidebar. Here we go. First, we have to wrap everything into an F widget. So, in order to replace dot off, we will use the inherited keyword. Curve dot makes the scaffold messenger class inheriting from the parent widget's context and makes it available for all of the widget's children. The resulting object name will be the same as the class, except that it's in kebab case. Oh, I forgot a child in an elevated button. Ah, the same compilation error. Don't make the same mistake as I did and don't forget to add nil at the end of your unpressed function. Okay. Yay, a snack bar. All right, so thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, share and add your feedback in the comments below. Bye!